Ladies and gentlemen, remember you can always find the podcast on emmettmuckles.com. That way you can never miss an episode. Please make sure that you subscribe in your favorite aggregator, which is iTunes, Spotify, and Google Podcast. You can even follow me on Facebook and Twitter at The Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast. Today, my guests are Lee and Miranda with Green Cow Pace, and Pace stands for Prepare to Achieve Confidence as an Entrepreneur. Stay tuned for the episode. Welcome to the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast with your host, Emmett Muckles. Please visit iTunes, Stitcher, or emmettbuckles.com to listen to all the episodes for free. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast. This is your host, Emmett Muckles. Today, this is the day that you were given another chance. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow is not here yet. We are not Dr. Manhattan, and we're not on Mars, as you can tell I'm watching Watchmen. So, all you can do is be right now. Be a human being. And if you need a community, if you need some help, I'm going to steer you to two of my favorite people, Miranda Morley and Lee Watson. Now, let me tell you about this. So Miranda and I, we have these little battles back and forth, but she always helps me out. (laughs) And Lee is just always there for me. And they run Green Cow Pace and Pace stands for Prepare to Achieve Confidence as an Entrepreneur. They are here to help you to thrive and to move forward in your entrepreneurial endeavors. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Great. And thanks for that introduction. Emmett, you are spectacular as always. I try. Uh, I, you know, I have to go put on my 1985 Lionel Richie glitter jacket and then I could be spectacular. <laughs> Just say that was quite a performance. <laughs> right? That's a great intro. And we're thrilled to be here with you. I know that you've had some really interesting people on your podcast, and we feel uh, blessed to be part of this. So. Oh, you are interesting people. Oh, we are all interesting people because, you know, we are all fractal, and we all bring our unique and individual talents to the community, which is what you guys are about. So, this is a a kind of a, a morph as things happen in life. Things morph into new things. And can you explain for the audience your elevator speech? So if you and I, all three of us were going up in the elevator and you see this big bald black guy walk into the elevator and go, what do you guys do? What would you say? <laughs> say, hey, my name is Lee. Um, what's your name? <laughs> I'd say I'm Emmett. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Emmett, uh, how's, how's your life going? How, how are things going for you? Are you in business or are you working for somebody? What are you doing? I would say my elevator speech doesn't have enough levels for me to finish explaining. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Well, you know, that's common too. The thing is, we're all people. We're all part of a community or many communities, and we need each other, and we promote that. So, hmm, as the elevator is hitting the seventh floor now, tell me more. So, you know, I have various ventures that I'm involved with and ones that I would like to be. Um, Some of them are teaching. Some of them are straightforward business. What does that entail between the relationship between you and I? Well, I think that that's actually really important because what our community strives to do is to connect people with other people that have different talents and different ambitions so that together, you know, they can do something important. And that's actually something that I run into a whole lot is, you know, you have people that do all kinds of things and they're looking, they, they, but they don't do everything. You know, they do all kinds of things. They're used to doing all kinds of things on them on their own, but they're getting stuck and they're getting frustrated because there are certain things that they don't do and they yeah. don't really know where to 
look for help. And I know what I found, you know, when I first started my business is that there's just a whole lot of information. You know, people go to Google or people go to Facebook, put something in, they get all kinds of results. But how do you know that that's really good advice? Half the time it's not. Yeah, <laughs> so, like more, more, than, than more than half the time it's not. Probably like 94% of the time it's not good advice. But you won't um, find out until you pay nine ninety seven ninety five. <laughs> exactly. No, no, no. You can pay twenty nine ninety five. And then we'll take you a little ways down the but road. But wait. <laughs> but wait, there's more. There's more. You, you have to add your $10 and then there's another thing. Yeah, and that's just the thing. You know, I think there's a lot of people that are used to that. They're used to wearing all the hats. Um, and they're getting stuck and they're getting frustrated because I've not met one person yet who can do everything. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of confusing information out there. So, Part of the re- reasoning behind why we develop PACE is that we want to create a community where people can help each other with their talents. The idea is that together we can achieve something because we all have different talents. We all have different strengths and we all have different things we actually like to do. So that's another thing. You know, I might be able to do something, but like I hate it. <laughs> so <laughs> I have a bad attitude for the rest of the day if I have to do it. <laughs> like imminent <Emmett and> copywriting. <laughs> You're going to start that again. And by the end of the show, you're going to convince me to do something else for you. I have a feeling. Right. <laughs> so you've probably seen the recent statistics about loneliness and communities on the web. People are connected more than they ever were, and they're lonelier than they ever were. They're not really connecting in communities. They're out there shouting, here's what I have. Here's what I do. Pay your nine ninety nine and all tell you exactly how I made a million dollars selling things for nine ninety nine, <laughs> And they're not really connecting with anybody. They're out there just selling stuff. And we believe that there's a need for a community where people can actually connect. Regardless of geography, they can actually connect with people who care about what they're doing. Right. And I think a big, a big thing too, is that, um, you know, on social media, we see everybody's highlight reels, right? Like, oh, you yeah. know, you look at you look at everybody. I don't, I don't. I think I saw a meme the other day. It says like, I don't post pictures of when I'm crying alone in my bedroom, eating Haagen Dazs, <laughs> <You know? laughs> right? <laughs> but it's it's you know it's really easy to look at everything on social media and think that everybody's perfect. Um, and there's not a whole lot of those spaces where people can come. And, you know, be authentic about the struggles they're facing. And that's another thing that that we're hoping to create because, you know, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, when you're trying to build something, it can be incredibly stressful. And even just having a place, um, you know, where you can go and know that people have been through the same thing um, and be honest about it and, you know, not have to be wearing your you know, this is my public face right now, but to be authentic about it, I think that's really important. And I think it's really important with, for that to be online because, you know, so many times uh, that is the way we connect now. Yes. You know, we started all of this green cow stuff as a co-working space. And it was great to connect physically with people and bring them into the space. And we did lots of great work and we had some great programs, but we really found that uh, over time, we couldn't reach enough people. Yeah, we just, yeah. It just you know, it's it's mm-hmm. geographically constrained, and and so now we're free to go about wherever we want to go. So let's 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 work up a scenario here. <laughs> let's say I'm a person who helps people to create media. Right, um, I have all this talent. I have all the know how and can explain it very well, but. I don't have a, we're going to go back to this Miranda. I don't have, I don't, I'm not great at writing copy or I don't know the legal stuff or where would you guys come in? If, if you met me and they said, Hey, Emmett, what do you do? And I was like, I help um, small business get their, their media presence together, you know, for themselves. And then, and I would say, how could you guys help me along this entrepreneurial journey? 
Well, kind of a couple of ways. Um, so going back to the copywriting thing, one of the things that we have a lot, not me, <laughs> don't start thinking that. No, one of the things that we um, have is, you know, we want to create a space where people can share what they're working on um, and get feedback. Okay. So, you know, we've had that um, experience happen in our group. And that's, it, it's a place where you don't have to, it doesn't have to be polished yet. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, for you to just say, hey, I got an idea, and yeah. can I get some feedback on that? And we have a few different ways that, you know, you can do that. We do – our primary group is a Facebook group, so you can post in there anytime. Our members can post in there anytime. But we also have um, our groups, you know, where we go on Zoom and we work together over um, – to work out problems and challenges and things like that with it in a community capacity. So, you know, we have those options. Um, and then we also are a learning platform. Uh, we have a rapidly growing library of resources from our guides who are experts in a variety of different um, fields. Emmett happens to be one of them. He has some pretty awesome stuff about media in there. So we appreciate you for doing that. Um, and, you know, that's another place is, is um, you could come in and learn from those things. So it really kind of just depends on, you know, some people, they want to just learn. They want to just, they're learners. That's what they love to do. And then some people are more the communicate, talk back, work together. And then it just also sometimes depends on what stage you're in. Um, sometimes both, you know, those, both of those things are good and we have all of that. So it's kind of like we tube. <laughs> yeah, I okay. guess so. <laughs> Copyrighted and branded by Emmett Muckles. You heard it first here. <laughs> mm-hmm. We tube. I like yeah. that. Yeah. That's cool. You know, but, um, you know, you're, you're absolutely right. Is that there are great many presents online where you can go find a great deal of information, but you can't authenticate it. Um, you hear, you can hear testimonies, but uh, you really can't authenticate. And I've had an experience recently myself. I thought I was going to be gaining a mentor, and I got funneled into a system, and I just don't learn that way. I need someone literally grab me by the hand in some instances and pull me along versus someone who's going to give me a, um, what is that thing called? The email campaign with the, that oh, the seems, <laughs> yeah, it seems like it's personal, but you realize after reading a couple is like, oh, this is just a template with my name on it. <laughs> but you know, I, I understand that, and people need that that interaction between individuals. There's a another faction that's similar to yours. Um, was it one million cups? Is oh, it sure. is by the Kaufman Foundation? Yeah, mm-hmm. is is because. What I've seen from them is they meet up, someone will do a presentation, and then a group will give them feedback, and then they disperse. Right. So, but you guys are an ingrained community where you're always accessible. Is that the difference between? I'm just trying to paint a model for people so that they fully understand. Well, first of all, the the Kaufman Foundation's One Million Cups, which is entrepreneurs. Uh, start and grow their companies over a million cups of coffee. That's where that came from. Yeah. Uh, it's a great system and it is, uh, it's a touch every month or every two weeks, whatever it might be. And so it's nice for that day and it's nice to have that experience and, and people should have that experience in their business to get some feedback from other people. But you're right. The main difference is that we can do it anytime. It's not just once a month or uh, in a specific geographic location. I mean, do do those all over the country, but and, and I, I highly recommend them. It's good practice. So, are you guys going to have um, live workshops and presentations that people can appear to? Because we all come from a very familiar uh, sect, which is Toastmasters. Uh-huh. <laughs> which is, you know, we developed those relationships because we actually got to breathe each other's air. And do you guys plan to have events of that nature so that other people can share the same atoms of oxygen as other people in the room? Well, don't come if you have a cold then. <laughs> or, any other or dental of- work <laughs> or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we do plan to do some of those. Um, but we are hoping that they will be live streamed as well. Um, so we, we are planning on having the physical, you can come and be physically present, but we really want almost everything we do to be accessible online as well. Um, and for me, that's really important because something that 
my background is in education. Um, and what I worked on for years before starting this was really always about removing barriers to access. Mm -hmm. Like that's been my passion, um, that there's so many people that could do great things, but they have barriers, whether that be, um, it's, you know, ability issues to get places because of either they have a, a disability or, you know, an illness or they have no vehicle or you know, child care or they're working all the time. But when you remove some of those barriers um, and provide people with the tools where they're at, many times they can thrive and succeed. Um, so that's why it's really important to me for those things to be accessible. And I think to Lee as well, but um, we do plan to do the physical meetings, but we just want to make sure people can get the information online as well. All right. So Lee, what is your function? I bring peace. <laughs> I thought that was, that would be her. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> I guess you're wrong. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I was listening to the Dalai Lama this morning, and um, he's such a peaceful guy. Um, he doesn't do a lot uh, that that's physical and, and visible to most people, but he has a real calming effect to his audience wherever he goes. You do and have that. <laughs> well, thank that's you. True. That's that's <laughs> a focus of mine. So, I want I want to make sure that whatever we do. We always come off as caring and peaceful, and we want to, I mean, sincerely, we want to help people. That's why we do this. And so my role really is to keep that alive no matter what we're doing. And he does a really good job in it, by the way. You know what I'm <laughs> going to ask next, don't you? Nope. Miranda, what is your function? <laughs> um, I laugh a lot. <laughs> No. It's more of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I also tease him mercilessly. <laughs> you know, we need that as, you know, we need that. We do have some laughs. It's a, it's a good thing. I mean, yeah, this it's a really good thing. project is really fun. Um, I do a lot. So really both of us together, our, our function is to be the community leaders and the community growers and supporters. And that means connecting our experts, our guides with, um, you know, our members and helping to grow those relationships. That's really what I see is what we do. And then we try to figure out what our members need and create ways to give that to them, you know, that best fits those needs. Um, so that's kind of what, what we do together. Um, and then I would say like, Uniquely, my position is I work on, I mean, with the background in education, I work on a lot of the um, writing stuff, as you probably know, <laughs> and uh, like putting together some of our, our programs. So like we just had this whole unstuck thing come out and and I wrote most of the material for that. And that's what I do a lot. So Miranda, if I wrote you a love letter, would you correct it and send it back? <laughs> I, indeed, I would. <laughs> So, I fix all of your commas. And, <laughs> and don't ever put a period outside of the quotation. Oh, it's it, it it incorrect. <laughs> it's <I know>. just wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, all jokes aside. So where can people, if someone's interested or want to find out more information, how do they go about finding about Green Cow Pace? GreenCowPace.com. <laughs> you could do that. Or you could just go to Facebook and look mm -hmm. up Green Cow and you'll find us. Yep. We do have a page, Green Cow page, um, as well as the as well as the group. And then we do have a free group as well. Um, it's we just changed the name of it today. <laughs> so it's entrepreneurs, artists, and creatives. And then it says group by Green Cow. Um, uh, so that's our free community group. Okay, let's I think we we uh, jumped the horse a little bit here. So let's talk about um how someone will become a part of this. Of course, they can gather the information. Um, they can go to the Facebook page. They can go to the about and find all that. But what allows inclusion into the group? What parameters do you need for inclusion into the group? Well, 
the group is free. The, the community group. The community is group is free. It's a great place for people to poke around and see what it is mm -hmm. that we're doing a little bit. And that's the same with the page, the Facebook page itself. We give highlights of what we're doing on those okay. um, pages. Right. And then we have a paid group, the paid group. Membership group. group yeah. Membership group. And the reason that we didn't choose to do a free group is because there are so many of those free groups yeah. out there where entrepreneurs come and they promote their stuff mm -hmm. and they don't actually connect with anybody sometimes, uh, sometimes with some people. We didn't want that. We wanted to build a community. And so we have a nominal fee, $10 a month to be part of the PACE group. That's good. Yeah. It's very good. And That's so better it, than HBO. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper than Netflix. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> saying. Yeah. So what that does is that reminds people that there's there's mm -hmm. special here. They're they're they've got some skin in the game. And here. there's also Very a lot. Bit. There's also a lot that people get for that. Um, so the ten dollars a month doesn't just get you access to the Facebook group. It also gets you access to all of our learning resources in addition to our networking online networking events and. Um, our events that we do other online events that we do in the community. Um, so it's not just, you know, you get access to the Facebook group and that's it. There's actually um, online events as well as a resource library that you get access to. Plus we highlight the members. Mm -hmm. um, we're working on a system to, to get people a little more exposure. Right. And leadership development. So people who come in and they think that, you know, they're an expert in something or they're um, wanting to learn that or practice it, or they're already leaders elsewhere and they want to do that. We're going to be starting some of that. Um, we do have our guides, as you know, you are one, and we're going to be um, doing a little bit more training for our um, guides and allowing them to um, just really cultivate some more of that leadership experience and, and, um, and it's going to be great. So there's different ways that you can get involved. You know, everybody, once you come in as a member, um, whatever you need, there's resources for that. So I want to go in this direction. I know that if some of these Facebook groups, because I belong to one of them for podcasters, and they've recently rolled out, and I've actually seen it when I was creating a group, they have a mentorship program. Are you guys going to advocate that as well? You know, because some people may be coming like, I need a lot of stuff. And then they find out like, I need somebody to, 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 to who has a little bit more experience than I do. The whole idea of mentorship, uh, being a mentor, being a mentee, you probably should be both uh, at times. And uh, it's super important. Mm -hmm. It's super important. Yeah. So we are going to, we're are, it's on the radar to roll something out that's official for that. But then also, you know, really one of the whole goals behind what we do is to help people make good connections. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's part of that's, that's a little bit different. Um, what's different about us as a community, instead of just a group that's out there where there's thousands of people and people will post things like, Hey, does anybody know somebody who, and then they get 160 comments. But what we do as community leaders is to try to facilitate those relationships. So I have a good example of that where I had a member who contacted me and said, hey, I know that you have some kind of background in writing. Can you help me with this guide I'm putting together? And I said, well, I'm not really the person for that. <laughs> um, because, like, you you need, like, a, you need someone else that does editing. And you need someone that makes it pretty and all that kind of stuff. That sounds familiar. And so I, con <laughs> I connected that person with um, someone else in the community who has more of the correct skill set. Um, so that's kind of, you know, what we do a lot of also is to help make those connections, maybe, maybe make them a little bit more intentional and meaningful. Sometimes when I look at all this stuff online, it's like 160 people yeah. have commented on this post, you know, who's a web designer. It's like, how do you, you know, how do you know that that's. Yeah. How do you even it? vet somebody? to? Do how do you even start to contact those yeah. people? And then I can only imagine that that poster has gotten like a hundred messages in the last hour. And yeah. I kind of stay away from those. <laughs> so for 2020 and we're rapidly heading towards 2020, what is your vision in the next 13 months or 12.5 months for green cow pace? We started locally mostly to test everything because there's a lot of moving parts in this. There's a lot of things that have to work right. The 
I mean, we do use things like MailChimp and, and PayPal and all that sort of stuff. So we started locally and it's our intention to get all of those things worked out so that we can expand exponentially in the new year. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, right now, you know, locally, and for those of you who don't know, this is Northwest Indiana, not far from Chicago, um, not far from the Michigan border, but it's kind of directly in the middle of the lake. Um, what lake is we're that? We're on a boat. <laughs> Sometimes we're on a boat. <laughs> See, this is Miranda. This is the Miranda I know. <laughs> we go back. <laughs> But it's accessible. And when you say local, so where are you pulling from currently? Is it Chicago a little bit? Is it a little bit from Michigan, uh, mostly Indiana? And um, I mean, like the community here from where we are, we're central to Michigan, um, Illinois and Wisconsin. And that's not a very large. I mean, you can be in any one of the from where we are, depending on which way you go, you can be in a totally different territory in 40 minutes and a couple of states in an hour. (laughs) So are are you guys going to pull from, from that great lakes region and just branch out as water does finds its level? Well, we are there just like you described at the bottom of the lake. Not literally. (laughs) I was going to say, do I have some sort of a mask? I need more information. About we're, we're, we're trying. See, we, that, see, you see how we did, that, you see how we did Miranda? We were like, oh, let's go around. <laughs> we were at the southern tip of Lake Michigan, just outside of Chicago. Oh. And yes, we are drawing mostly from that region right now. But there's nothing to say that we need to stay here. Uh, in fact, we do have some outliers right now in different areas. Uh, but once we get uh, the systems all in good working order, it is our intention to reach out uh, through social media, which opens every door, basically. Awesome. And the hope would be we can have meetups all over the place. That know? would be great. We are trying to develop... Uh, mentors within the group or uh, moderators within the group so that they can do a regional event, a local event. And I'd like to see those all over the place. Right. So right now, you know, if, it, if somebody wanted to come into our community from another location, and I think we do have a, a one person from California um, and a couple of other you know people that uh, were connected with me that came in to kind of do some poking around and assisting. Um, but, you know, we definitely have a lot of resources that anybody can take advantage of because they're all online. Uh, but most of our people have kind of come out of that, you know, the, the group that we had previously, the, the um, people who oh, were aligned right. with the co-working space um, and kind of already part of our community, but we started to grow it since then. And, and that's been really exciting. So yeah, the vision is big. Um, you know, we think that this is something that people all over need and going back to what I said about barriers to access, it's like, shouldn't matter where you're at. If you're in a place that, you know, where you could access something like a co-working space or you can access, um, you know, different groups, that's great. But there's a lot of people out there that the closest thing would be an hour, two hours away. And, you know, they might just not have that. And we want to be that resource for those people. Awesome. You know, that's a, this is a really great thing that you're doing because uh, I realized this once I moved from Detroit and moved to Northwest Indiana and began to do business in Iowa and the southern part of Illinois and Indiana, that America is a big place and there's not a lot between. So you have your major cities, which is the focus of a lot of business and resources, but there are a lot of people due to the internet that are making strides in their own business and they still need this mentorship. So this is one of those great things that um, can be advantageous and of great value to so many people across the country. And I commend you guys for even putting this together for everyone. And I want to thank you for being on the Billionaire Lifestyle Podcast. Well, thank you so much. It's great to be here with you uh, and to talk a little bit about what we do. And we hope that uh, actually... I'd like to say that we're a collaborative bunch here. And if somebody does the same thing somewhere else, 
we're happy about it. I mean, it's raising the the whole, uh, it's raising everyone's boats as the tide uh, rises. So, are we going back to that lake thing again? So many boats. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> uh, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Can start with puns. So, if you guys, if you guys are very are interested. You can reach out and go to the Green Cow Pace, which is prepared to achieve confidence as an entrepreneur. Uh, There's a public group, there's a private group, but you will find it and it is available for you. You can always reach out at EmmettMuckles.com. There's a thing and say, hey, I couldn't find the green thing. (laughs) (laughs) And I will shoot you the link. (laughs) But you can always go to the show notes and we will have all the links to facilitate your entrepreneurial education in confidence. How's that? That's lovely. Sounds great. Well, this is how we typically end and is not going to change very much. Today is the day and it is your day. We are human beings that's h-u-e that's people of a color under the sun i don't care what you think you are you're not translucent so you're under the sun so you're hue now we are in the image of man that's what we're all created no matter which what you are that could mean trans that could mean cis that could mean male that could mean female it doesn't matter we are all in this fractal community of man now here's where we get really trippy about the being part we're always looking at someone else's being and wanting to be our being you need to be in yourself and sometimes it can get a little taxing and you can feel like you're at the end of your rope well i want to tell you this there's always a little bit more rope so what you should do is tie a knot in that rope Keep hanging until you can get your wind about you so you can pull yourself up and begin the new day because it will come. Till next time, love you all. Peace.